Well, hello and welcome to another Faith, Philosophy and Life. Me, Mr. Shelton, it's great to see you and I do hope that you are doing well. We're starting a new unit today. We're going to be starting a little topic on Hinduism, which is a totally different world faith than uh, anything that some of you may have studied previously, but I also appreciate some of you may know quite a lot about Hinduism. So I'm not going to assume that you know nothing, but I'm going to assume that I need to meet you where you are. So uh, if you do find any of this straightforward, then obviously skip on a bit. And if you're finding it quite difficult, then just play me in slow motion. Okay, that was rather a bit weird. So the first thing I'd like you to do is to go and grab your pen and a piece of paper because here's our cheesy intro sequence. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, I'd like you just to grab a piece of paper and a pencil. Uh, I'd like to think about this question. Now, some of you might not be willing to do this because you're in faith perspective. I totally understand that. So I'm not going to ask you to do anything you would feel uncomfortable doing. But I want you to think about if you were to design your own God, what might they look like? You can draw it. You don't need to. What are their characteristics? What are they going to be like? Do they have any special powers and What's their history or their backstory, as we might refer to it um, within the press? So have a think about that for a few minutes. Maybe sketch something out, maybe get it labelled and then come back to me. So pause me now and then come back to me. OK, that's all going to make a little bit more sense in a moment. What I'd like you to do is if you've got a, an exercise book there, you need a double page for this. We're going to be coming back to this quite a bit. But if you've got your exercise book there, can you put Hinduism in the middle and like a mind map and write down anything you already know about Hinduism with a little S in a circle next to it? It just means the start. So uh, I'd like you to do a mind map with Hinduism in the middle and do a little S in the circle and come up with as many things that you already know about Hinduism. If you don't know anyway, well, you've at least laid it out for later in the lesson. OK, so do that now and then come back to me. OK, so we're going to leave that page now and then we're going to do this as our title, which is Introduction to Hinduism. And we're going to explore the basic beliefs of Hinduism. Introduction to Hinduism, the basic beliefs of Hinduism. It's going to be good if you can retell three key beliefs in Hinduism. Uh, great if you can explain two of the key beliefs of Hinduism, which makes Hinduism very distinctive. And even better if you can evaluate which beliefs you think are most important to Hinduism and say why. Uh, you can see there we've got some cross curricular links of literacy, reading and extracting, uh, personal learning, thinking skills, self managers and SMSC. We're going to be thinking about a religious response to some of these issues and uh, what society might say. During today's lesson then, we've started our learning log. We're gonna watch a media clip. There'll be a group task, or you're at home, so it probably won't be group based, but I, I will talk you through that. And then there's a little extension that you may or may not do in a mini write task as well. So to start off with, uh, I'm gonna ask you to do a little bit of research. You're gonna have to use the description below to do this. And what I'd like you to do is in there you will find an information pack and you'll also find a worksheet to complete as well normally i would keep those two things very separate but i'm going to do it this way around um, just because you're at home and nobody's there possibly to help you so there's four topics which is reincarnation karma facts and figures and the three main gods of hinduism yes i am spelling gods with a small g at this point and that is quite deliberate that's a little bit of um religious terms in there 
So what I'd like you to do, as I was saying, is I'd like you to have a look at that. Uh, I'd like you to start completing as much of that uh, worksheet as you can using the information that's there. Uh, and then come back to me when you're done. I'll see you probably in about 20, 25 minutes. Okay, so having done all of that, um, I'm going to ask you to put together a two minute podcast about what do Hindus believe? I don't know what it is with my voices today. Uh, maybe I've had too much coffee. So I want you to construct a, a two minute podcast, two minute talk about the key things that Hindus believe. Okay, so using the information that you've got. So pause me now, give yourself 10 minutes or so to do that and then come back to me. So we said it'd be good if you could retell three key beliefs about Hinduism. I think we've covered quite a bit of that already. Great if you could explain two of the key beliefs of Hinduism uh, that make Hinduism distinctive. And actually you realize that Hinduism is very different than Christianity and Judaism. And even better if we can evaluate which beliefs that we think are most important to Hindus and why. So that's our extension task that some of you may really want to do but i'm going to move on from that but it is there if you want it which is to create an information poster explaining hinduism but this is now the final task i need you to do belief in the afterlife is the most important belief in hinduism do you agree okay what i'd like you to do is to do a piece of writing that supports or doesn't support this statement so you need to start with describing some of the key parts of hinduism explaining why they're important and then comparing those to other religious beliefs that Hindus has as well. So to do this, what you need to do is to write the question down in your book and then just give it a go, maybe for and against, comparing different things that Hindus believe. Um, anything's fine that you do. What you then do is you get that sent through to us and to your teachers, because we'd obviously like to see that. Um, and yeah, that's where we're up to. So in terms of our objectives, I'll put that back on the board in a minute. Um, we've done our good and our great, and this is our evaluate task. So uh, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks very much for your time. Take care of yourself. Stay safe. Wash hands. God bless you. And make sure you get everything sent through to me. Well, to your teacher. Bye.